The full stage of the 74th Volta la Comunità Valenciana on paper was the Queen stage. 3,600 metres of climbing, plenty of mountains all day long, and an uphill finish after a start in Burriana. 182 kilometres in total as well, taking on those categorised climbs all day long in the Sierra Calderona. The riders will go through the finish line for the first time with 65 k's to go and then head on a loop around the town of Altura where they'd have a final intermediate sprint before that last rise to the line. The general classification wide open, also plenty of teams wanting to get themselves in a breakaway to take something from this race with just two days remaining. Twenty-three riders would make it up the road in the end, including three riders who are quite dangerous in the overall general classification. Paco Molomer there for his teammate with Giulio Ciccone leading, but he was at 30 seconds. Tim and Ardensman at 56, also Georg Zimmermann at 48 seconds. Four riders would remain in the breakaway with around 25 kilometers to go. Van der Sander, Scaroni, Antonelli chasing the one remaining man, Tim and Ardensman, the young Dutchman from Ineos Grenadiers, still a real threat to everybody out in front with a gap of two minutes. The rest of the break would be caught. And then the three chasers reeled in with just less than 23 k's to go. How long could Ahrensman last out front? The pressure was on the other teams to chase. Bora, Movistar, Bahrain all committed, as well, of course, as the race leaders Trek Segafredo. The intermediate sprint out the way. Two seconds going to Alexander Vlasov, defending champion, keeping him in third, but moving him up to just four seconds behind the lead. Bora then took control. Ahrensman reeled in with eight kilometers to go. And with just less than 5Ks to go, still plenty of teams up for trying to take the victory. The GC increasingly looking like it was going to come to a play with the bonus seconds. But Ineos Grenadiers would really put the hammer down inside the final 3Ks. Castro Viejo, then De Plus and then Rodriguez. And inside the final 300 metres, Teo Gagan Hart lifting off. The Giro d'Italia winner not having won a bike race since he put on the Maglia Rosa in Milan in 2020. But here that was about to change. A brilliant sprint off the wheel with 150 metres to go after Carlos Rodriguez had done his job. Thomas Glogue in the yellow jersey making a name for himself in his first full year as pro. And third place going to the yellow jersey, Giulio Ciccone. Those four bonus seconds keeping him in the yellow jersey for the final day. The light though for Gagan Hart and Ineos Grenadiers, their first European win of the season. Gagan Hart, Glogue, Ciccone with Vlasov and Landa inside the top five. Four and a half hours of really tough racing and finishing in a mountain top sprint. Ineos Grenadiers leading out like the top sprint teams. Gagan Hart finishing the job. Glogue making a real name for himself and Ciccone now on the verge of winning his first ever GC prize at a stage race. Delight for Gagan Hart, back to winning ways. That must feel really good after a couple of years without victory. Ciccone on the verge of that very, very important box to tick, a stage race win for a rider who is well capable of taking that. He has four seconds over Gagan Hart, going into a final race to Valencia, just 90 kilometers, a couple of climbs, but a few of the sprinters expected to survive. You better watch the final stage live and on demand across our networks. Keep it GCN Plus for all the best from the top level of professional cycling.